Hi everyone and welcome to the second of our spring term assemblies. I hope you remember but if you don't my name is Mark and I'm the Family and Community Minister at Hennevale Baptist Church and Bethany from All Saints Church is also here. Well actually she's not here with me because that's not allowed at the moment is it but she'll be along in a moment to tell us a story from the bible now i wonder if you've noticed i'm sure you have but each week after the story and the reflection we always say a prayer have you noticed that well, this week, we thought it might be helpful to talk a little bit more about prayer because we've not really talked about prayer before and we just do it each week. And we thought that might be a bit confusing for some of us. But before we talk more about prayer, let's have that story from the Bible. So over to you, Bethany. Welcome to Bible Bit in One Minute. I'm going to tell you the story of Samuel and Eli from 1 Samuel chapters 2 and 3. Okay, the timer is on. I'll be ready and go. So there was once a boy called Samuel and he was living with an old priest called Eli and both of them went to bed and fell asleep. In the middle of the night, Samuel heard a voice calling to him, Samuel, Samuel, and he woke up and he went to Eli's room and was like, Eli, what do you want? And Eli went, I didn't call you, go back to sleep. So Samuel went back to his room and fell asleep. A few hours later, here's a voice, Samuel, Samuel, wakes up, goes back to Eli's room, says, Eli, what do you want? Eli says, didn't call you, go back to sleep. Samuel goes back to sleep. A little bit later... Samuel, Samuel, he wakes up, goes back to Eli's room and at this point Eli realises what's happening and he says I think God might be trying to speak to you so next time say I'm listening God. So Samuel goes back to his room, goes back to sleep, hears the voice Samuel, Samuel wakes up and says God I am listening, what do you want to say and God gave him a special message. There we go. Thanks Bethany. That was really great. I love that story because God speaks directly to Samuel and that's really cool. So let's talk a little bit more about prayer. What is prayer? Well, first, let me ask you a question. How often do you talk to your friends each day? I speak to mine quite a lot, although at the moment it might be on Zoom or FaceTime or a WhatsApp message or even a phone call. We like to speak to our friends and spend time with them, don't we? Because that's what friendship really is. It's about building relationships with one another. But what's that got to do with prayer? Well, do you remember last week when we talked about creation, we saw that God made human beings to be his friends, to spend time with him and to talk with him. And as Christians, we believe that is basically what prayer is. It's spending time with and speaking to God. But it's also listening to God as well, as we saw in the story earlier, because otherwise it would be bit boring, wouldn't it? Can you imagine if you're on the phone to your friend and you were the only one that said anything? Not great, not very easy to get to know someone with a conversation like that. But sometimes it can be hard to hear or recognise God speaking to us, just like it was for Samuel. When God spoke to him, he didn't know it was God at first, but after a while, he came to recognise God's voice. So let's think a little bit more. I wonder, can we take a few seconds to think about where and how someone might pray? Hmm. Don't know how would someone pray? Don't know. Well, a lot of people pray in church or in their bedroom. 
Well, they might go to a special meeting called a prayer meeting. They might kneel down and close their eyes, even put their hands together and bow their heads. And these are really good things. And they can help us to focus on God. But I think you can actually pray anywhere, at any time. You can pray when you go out for a walk or when you're sitting in the car or even in the middle of a test. Because as Christians, we believe that God loves to hear from us. So next, I want us to think for a moment about how we can hear from God. Hmm, that's tricky. How, how do you hear from God? I don't know. It is a tricky one, isn't it? In the story, Samuel actually hears a voice speaking to him. And as Christians, we do believe that God can still talk to us like this, but he can speak to us in many, many different ways. He might speak to us through the Bible, or maybe a, a thought that suddenly pops up into your head. This might be God. Maybe a friend might say something to you, or you see a picture in your mind, or have a dream while you're asleep. As Christians, we believe God can speak to us in all of these different ways and more, pretty much any way you can imagine. The trick, however, is to recognise when God's speaking to us. So lastly, I want to think about why we might pray. Why do you think we pray? Mm. Why would I pray? Don't know. Mm. Well, again, there are so many reasons why people might pray. It could be that they want or need something, or maybe they need to say sorry for something, because sometimes we do get things wrong and make mistakes, don't we? And we believe that God understands this, and he's pleased to forgive us if we ask him to. Or it could be that we just want to simply say thank you for something. There are so many things that we can say thank you for. Last week, we said thank you to God for his creation. And maybe you just want to say thank you for that as well, or for good health, or for your friends, or even for this school and your teachers who do such an amazing job. There are so many different things. Thank you, Mark. Well, we've heard a lot about prayer this assembly and so it's definitely a good time to perhaps give it a go ourselves. Now we always like to lead you in a shorter prayer but we thought perhaps we'd take a couple more minutes spending some time talking to God. Now you can join in with this or if you are not quite comfortable with praying you can just take a moment and the things I'm going to say to you you can just reflect on things you're perhaps grateful for as well so we can all join in with this together. So we're going to start off we're thinking about things we want to say thank you for. So I'm going to give you something now as a little prompt and then I'd love you to perhaps whisper into your hands a thank you to God for that thing. So the first thing is I'd like you to think of your favourite toy and then whisper into your hands what that is and say thank you to God for it. Can you think of someone you really love? Whisper their name into your hands and say thank you. And think about something you're excited about this week. Perhaps you can tell God and say thank you. Wonderful. 
Now it's also important that we say sorry to God when we do things which aren't quite how God would want us to. So it might be we've said something a little bit mean, or it might be we've been unkind to a sibling, or it might be we've been just struggling doing work at home, and so we haven't always been the easiest to teach. And so let's take a moment thinking about those things, and then I'm going to lead us in a prayer to say sorry for those things. So God, whatever it is we feel guilty about this week, we are truly sorry. And we ask that you take away that wrong thing so we don't feel bad about it anymore. And help us to think more this week about how we can be kind and loving. Amen. And lastly, we're going to think about our pleas. What is something we would really like to happen at the moment? And as you're thinking about this, I'd like you to think not perhaps just, oh, I'd really like this new game. No, I want you to think a bit bigger than that. Who would you like to feel, who feels a bit sad perhaps, and you'd like to see a change for them, see them to be a bit happier? Or maybe it's to do with coronavirus and you'd like to see more people be healed. So I'd like you to take a moment now and ask God to do something which you think would really be showing love in our world. And perhaps you can whisper that into your hands as well. Amen. So now we're going to end our time with you with another song. Remember, as Christians, we like to sing these songs to God. So the words will come up on the screen for you to follow if you want to. But now I'm going to say bye. See you in a couple of weeks. Can say.